And back and forth as to whether concrete planters just put in in downtown Watertown should be removed so more parking can be brought back. Well, we've learned the cost to remove what's here has doubled. Will the city bite or hold off? Here's 7 News reporter Chad Charette. It's a projection that keeps growing. The problems right now and the, the public should know is uh, that uh, significant cost uh, to remove them is, oh, I think, at 90 plus thousand dollars. When the city voted to remove these planters from in front of Key Bank back in September, it was expected to cost $40,000. With the current estimate of somewhere around $90,000, city manager Ken Mix says he's working to bring the number back down. We got a proposal from the contractor that was much higher than we think is reasonable, so we're trying to negotiate that down. City Council Member Cliff Olney says the cost is just too much. He feels council should have greater involvement when it comes to seeking out contractors. We should have had more people involved in it. Certainly we could get a lower price. And that's just on something I don't even understand why the manager wouldn't ask for other contractors to bid on this because it was going to be removed. Only hopes the city will seek out an alternative, cheaper contractor. He says he's optimistic the planters will eventually be removed and the parking spaces they replaced will be restored. Well, contractors do this sometimes when they don't really need the work. They'll just throw a price off. They get it. They're making more profit. And that's what it seems like here. While she agrees that the project's estimated cost is too high, Councilmember Sarah Campo Pierce says it may be in the city's best interest to hold off on removing the planters altogether. Before we spend any more taxpayer money, I would like to just wait and see if it is creating any significant issues. According to city manager Mix, the offer of $90,000 was the contractor's initial proposal. He hopes to bring the cost more in line with the projected $40,000. Chad Charette, 7 News.